Pack girl, see him talking about me. Ride around with a smiley on me. Get it a win and got it. Hey. Mama gave me life, the attitude is my daddy. My name is Philip Murray, stage name is Philly. Um, I'm from uh, Madura, Victoria. My tribe, Wemba Wemba Mob, from like, you know, Swan Hill Lake, Burger Way. In um, 2014, I won the Triple J Unearthed Indigenous Artists of the Year. I wasn't expecting it at all. There's a lot of really good Indigenous artists in Australia. And, you know, I was lucky enough to be picked out of that bunch. I grew up with music. A lot of, a lot of Indigenous kids can relate to hip hop music, you know. Hip hop was created through struggle and we see a lot of struggle every day of our lives. So I feel like that's why we can um, really relate to the music style. I was really bad when I started off, like really bad. I had no idea what I was doing. Like just learning about it myself was, um, was really difficult. But a lot of my, my early raps were very simple and, and I don't know, a lot about girls and all that sort of stuff. I don't know if any other rappers have you know, went through that stage of of hip hop when they first started off, but that's you know that's how I started off, and um, yeah, it's been a, a, a long process, like a long, a long time coming, but you know it's starting to get where I, I feel like I want to be. I got a lot more to do. I'm always questioning if I'm good enough because I've always wanted to be that role model for the indigenous youth, like even now because I don't smoke or drink, so. When I tell people that sometimes they get shocked, like, wow, you're the first Aboriginal person I, I know that doesn't smoke or drink. Like, and we, I, I get pretty upset when I hear those sort of things. And the more I achieve stuff with my music, the more they'll think, oh yeah, Philly's cool as, you know, <laughs> I want to do what he does. And I really try to put that message out, like you don't have to smoke or drink to, you know, be cool, any of that sort of stuff. Dude, I don't wanna live that dream So he stays focused with his goals ahead Never lose a sight from the words that he said Full of confidence, no doubt in his head Still no rest after the blood tears and sweat The struggle, not only um, I have been through, but um, what I've seen, you know, my, um, my cousins or aunties or uncles or just my family um, as a whole, you know, been through and um, what I see you know, on, on the streets, just friends and Aboriginal people, like the struggles we, we, we face. And um, it really needs to be brought to, you know, the, the white Australians' attention because they, uh, and it's not even really their fault, but you know, they're ignorant to the fact that um, there is a lot, of, a lot of poverty, a lot of struggle, a lot of, um, we get treated, you know, unfairly and you know, some people, when you tell them that, they, they kind of don't believe it. They don't really know how extreme it actually is. You know, sorry business is pretty common in a lot of Aboriginal communities. It's a really hard thing to deal with for anyone, really. Um, yeah, it's just really sad, really sad. I, I hate hearing about it. And yeah, hopefully, you know, my telling stories through my music and talking about what we face and what we're still going through and what we have been through uh, will you know, shed some light and um, help them help them see what I see. You know, we as people should be there for each other and you know, really help each other out. So, you know, it's all good and well to do it for my people. But um, if I'm just making music for my people, my people are the only ones that's going to hear it. So, find a way to to put my music out to the wider Australia so they c it can reach them and they can understand um, what Indigenous youth and Indigenous Australians are, are going through. Then. You know, that's, that's my job done. You know, I, I've, been, I've been through so much, but just, just coming out here and seeing these kids and uh, everything they don't have to, to compared to what I do have, and you know, bigger smiles on their faces all the time. They're always so happy. It, it, it you know, really makes you feel like, you know, you got really nothing to complain about. Like, you know, the boys, they, they really, really brought us in and made us feel so welcome. And you know they painted us up and taught us to dance, and it was it was really good. Um, you know, personally, I haven't danced for a really long time. I used to dance for the Lachi Lachi dance troupe in Madura, but that you know that was I was about 13. Now I'm 23, so just you know reconnecting with the land. I feel it was it was very very strong, very moving for myself. One line I feel is dope. Um, it's probably because I just liked it a lot and I could probably use it for myself one day but they already used it was um, 
I don't want to be a lie, I want to be the truth, I want to be a leader for our youth. I don't want to be the lie, I want to be the truth, I want to be a leader for our youth, dancing, flipping and playing some sport. That was cool as, like, it was, it was really powerful. I've always wanted to do something to help, help with, um, bring awareness to the, to the situation that's been going on in, in uh, my community and stuff. And, but I, I never knew how to go about it, like I never knew what to do or anything, so these are, you know, Friendships I feel will last, you know, a lifetime. And these memories that we're making out here, creating out here, uh, with the communities, uh, you know, memories that are going to last a long time, a uh, lifetime as well. They call me Philly. It's the P to the H I L L Y, and you know that I stay fly. I be that lyrical genius. Check my flow so wicked. Now nah, watch you expect it, but you gotta respect it. Officially a top three MC, possibly in the lead for the MVP. We on, we on, we on. Let him know that we on. We are, we are, we are. Let him know that we are, we are.